Hi, and welcome to the more five-minute St. Louis real estate market update for May 2017. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the broker owners at More Realtors. And if you give me about five minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis real estate market. Uh, this first chart I'm going to show you is for the St. Louis five-county market, which consists of the city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin County, the bulk of the St. Louis real estate market on the Missouri side of the river and pretty much what we're going to be talking about today. So this is a two-year chart showing the uh, median price uh, that homes were listed at that sold during this period in lime green, uh, as well as their actual sold price in red, and then the number of sales in teal. And uh, the red vertical line there represents a year ago, so kind of put it in perspective for you. Now to kind of take a look at a trend here, I'm going to draw this line. This purple line represents the uh, median home prices over the past two years. And you can see that trend is upward at a modest uh, uh, rate, which is good. Uh, now I'm going to draw this goldenrod or uh, yellow line that uh, is going to represent the trend to home sales for the past two years. You can see that that, that trend line is downward. Uh, any trend downward is probably going to largely be due to... Uh, uh, to the lack of inventory. And now what it, to look at a little more condensed period just this past year, I drew this red line for the home prices in the past year. And you can see actually median home price trend is downward a little bit over the last 12 months. And then finally, uh, sales over the last 12 months, that trend line is down as well. Uh, so I think what we're seeing here is uh, the continued effect of a low inventory market uh, if you are have considered or are thinking about selling your home, now is the time to talk to us. Uh, properly priced, properly marketed, uh, and prepared homes are selling quickly. Most of what we're getting uh, out on the market is selling in the first uh, couple of days. Uh, it's a very good time for sellers. However, uh, homes do need to be priced properly. As you can see, there is some uh, pricing pressure. The buyers that are out there today... Uh, are pretty educated buyers, so uh, there is pricing pressure. <clears throat> now uh, I'm showing you a table uh, for that same five county area. Uh, the top row there uh, represents uh, uh, the number of homes sold on the left, uh, the price of homes sold on the right, and the red. And uh, what we're looking at here is the most recent 12 month period versus the prior 12 month period. This is a great way to look at the market as well to, to see where things are headed. And when we look at the home sales number up there, we can see sales for the most recent 12 month period, which would be ending uh, the end of April, uh, so the end of last month, uh, versus the prior 12 month period. Sales are up about 6%. Uh, go over to the right, we can see the median home price during this most recent 12 month period for this five county uh, St. Louis. Uh, uh, market uh, was 181,000 versus 171.5 uh, the prior 12 months. So home prices up about five and a half percent during this period. Now again, we're talking about you might go, wait a minute, you just showed me a chart that showed something different. The chart I showed you uh, just a, a trend line, just kind of the trend. Uh, this is uh, the 12 month, uh, the median for that 12 month period compared with the prior 12 month period. So. Um, Pretty good looking numbers here. Uh, the next row down just shows price trend uh, on a per foot basis, which is the most accurate way to really uh, to look at home pricing. And, and in general, what this shows is uh, uh, if we go to the center column there, the, the median price of homes on the market right now is $119 a foot, which is less than what the ones that sold the month before sold for, as well as less than what uh, the $122 a month that homes during the prior 12 months sold for. So it's just showing a little bit of a downward trend in uh, home pricing. You can see month supply at the bottom there, 2.38 months supply, uh, a little under two and a half months supply for this five county area. Very, very low, 137 days on market on average. Now let's look at month supply by county. And we can see on here, um, everywhere, uh, this is all the counties as well as a combination of the, the whole MSA down at the bottom. Everywhere we look, the, the month supply is low. Six months would be kind of a balanced market, not favoring buyers or sellers. You can see all of these are below six months. And in fact, all of these months supply, and I'm not going to read them all. You can go through this chart and look at it in detail, but um, or this table. But all of these are down from where they were last month, with the exception of Jefferson County. It rose uh, ever so slightly, uh, maybe a tenth of a percent, so not much. Uh, if we look at price trend per county, uh, over the right there, you can see most of them have red arrows down. Uh, Franklin County has had a little bit of a bump uh, in price per foot. 
um, but the trend is down, which is the same thing as last month for most of the areas. So we are seeing a little bit of a pricing pressure. Um, our top sellers markets, here's the top 10 sellers markets in the area. Uh, this is based upon their month supply. You can see the, the number one, uh, Maryland Heights, number two, Crestwood, they have less than a one month supply. Heck, Maryland Heights barely has over a half month supply. If you live in Maryland Heights or own a home in Maryland Heights and, and any time in the past few years have thought about selling your home, please contact us today. You can see there's no inventory, no competition. Uh, it is a great time to come out on the market. Same thing for Crestwood. St. Peter's, look at that one month. Uh, the highest one on the list there, if you go up to number 10, even Webster Groves doesn't even have a month and a half supply. Uh, all these supplies are uh, uh, fairly, uh, pretty much down from last month. Last month, uh, Maryland Heights was also at the top of the list uh, with pretty much the same number. Uh, Fenton was number uh, two last month and uh, Fenton has fallen down on the list a little bit. Uh, buyer's markets. There are some buyer's markets. Last month, I think we had 10. This month, there's only nine. Uh, these are uh, markets with uh, more than a six-month supply, and uh, there are some. Uh, you can see it's a, a variety of markets from Jennings up in North County, where there's a 19-month supply, basically because nothing's selling. They had two sales in the last uh, 30 days, and they got 38 homes on the market. To some outlying areas like Burns Mill with a 12-month supply, to some high-end areas. you got Frontenac at number three and Ladue down there at number six. Both of them uh, you know, were nine months and seven and a half months. Town and Country uh, down at the bottom of the list there were the six and a half months supply. So there are some buyer's markets out there, especially if you get a lot of coin in your pocket there for those nicer areas. Okay, hey, be smart when it comes to buying or selling. Get your smart guide to buyingyourhome.com. Uh, well, get your smart guide to buying your home at smartguidetobuyingyourhome.com or get your smart guide to selling your home at smartguidetosellingyourhome.com. These are full color magazines that we've created. This is not some stock stuff that we just bought and it's generic and has a bunch of blah blah on it. These are uh, guides that we have created uh, with our real estate professionals as well as other uh, area professionals. Uh, uh, surveyors and home inspectors and, and contractors uh, that we do business with, our clients do business with, that have all contributed to these. They're filled with great information. You can access it online at those websites at, uh, at the top of your screen there. Uh, you can also, uh, you can read it online. You can also uh, uh, ask us to mail you one and we will be happy to uh, mail you one. Also, don't forget when you're searching for homes for sale or you want to find out what homes are selling for in your neighborhood, go to St. Louis's best home search site. Also happens to be St. Louis's favorite search site. Uh, St. Louis Real Estate Search.com. St. Louis Real Estate Search.com. It's St. Louis's favorite for a boatload of reasons. Um, but remember while you're there, uh, up at the top there, if you want to see a home or you want any information, we've got a handy 800 number. Uh, it's answered most all the time. Uh, and by real live real estate agents and brokers. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, my business partner and one of the other broker owners of uh, the company answers the phone uh, quite often. So uh, uh, you'll get a very knowledgeable person on the other end of the line. You can see you can call 844-MLS-SITE. How can you forget that? Uh, so you can always call that to get information. Also down at the bottom, you see we've got live chat. Same thing, that's staffed by real live local people. In fact, I monitor that quite a bit. Uh, give it, I don't know, 15, 16 hours a day. Got a good shot at uh, catching me on that, but uh, in either event, uh, whether you call or whether you do live chat, uh, you'll get a, a real live local St. Louis real estate agent or broker to uh, answer your questions. And uh, so that's St. Louis real estate search.com. Also, you can find out the value of your home online in under a minute by going to St. Louis house prices.com, St. Louis house prices.com. And by the way, if you have any questions or you do want to sell your home or buy, give us a call at 314-332-1012. Uh, finally, almost finally, St. Louis's favorite open house site. If you want to uh, check out open houses, see what's open this weekend, go to stlouisopenhouses.com, stlouisopenhouses.com. Uh, you can search a variety of ways, see what's open uh, this weekend. Also, if you're thinking about selling FISBO, you think, oh, the market's so great, I can sell this house myself. It really is a mistake. I'm not just saying that because uh, I'm a real estate broker. Uh, I'm a very straightforward broker, and, uh, and I'm very candid. And I'm just telling you it's a big mistake, though. So check it out why you don't want to do it at don'tsellfisbo.com. 
Also, if you're a buyer thinking you're going to save a boatload of money going directly to the, uh, the for sale by owner, you need to get educated on that too. To protect yourself, go to don'tbuyfisbo.com. That's don'tbuyfisbo.com. Don't sell fisbo.com. And there you go. Uh, remember, we're more realtors and uh, we're here to help you. We've got a great, uh, great group of uh, hand picked real estate professionals in our firm. And uh, you can catch us at the numbers shown there. Go to our website at stlre.com or get to us through any of those other websites that I mentioned to you. So thank you for being with us. Uh, and until next month, God bless you.